We are talking today with Dr. Kelly Knipple. She is a developmental optometrist. And Kelly, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Um, you're seeing more people coming in and developing issues because of too much time in front of the computer? Yes, so more and more people are spending time on the computer and people are using Kindles and uh, iPods and iPhones. And so in recent years, there's been a syndrome that's called computer vision syndrome that has been recognized uh, where people have headaches, eye strain. Uh, they even can have blurry vision and double vision and different vision problems because of spending too much time with too much these time devices. in front of the computer or on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be clear and say uh, we've, we're looking at two young women today who are in for an appointment and their vision problems aren't necessarily caused from too much time in front of the computer. No. Your concern with them though or any other child that may already have a vision problem with being on the computer too much would be what? Well, one of the things that happens frequently with small children, especially people with vision problems, is when they play with handheld devices, they almost always hold it too close. So you can walk around and watch kids and they're, they're looking like this. So uh, one of the people today has a crossed eye. When you look close, your eyes have to cross in. And so if you hold things close too much, that really can just exacerbate the problem and uh, make it get worse instead of helping it to get better. So your concern would be if somebody already has a vision problem that this is just going to make their situation a whole lot worse to correct. Yes. What would the best advice be for parents that may be concerned about their child spending too much time uh, in front of a screen with or without knowing that there are vision problems? What, what well, would you tell them? One thing is I see many people using those as babysitting devices and so one thing that's very important is to restrict time using a screen kind of device because it doesn't help the person develop their visual skills. Things like eye teaming and focusing and depth perception uh, can't be developed with using that. So the second thing is when they use it, they need to use it correctly. So the proper distance for near activities is between your fist and your elbow is you want to hold things at least that far away rather than getting really close. Which is kind of hard to do as the smaller and smaller devices get. <laughs> well, luckily the devices are getting better and better screens. And so maybe five or six years ago, it was really common that it was hard to see it. And so it was almost impossible to hold at that distance. Now, it, it, many people actually hold it the right distance. So I've seen an improvement in that as the screens get better. But yes, children argue that they can't see it. Yeah, maybe <laughs> so. <laughs> double check on the eye exam too if you think yeah, kids so might be having a problem. Yeah, so if they can't hold it far enough away, then that would be an indication that they should come in for an eye exam so we can check to see if there's actually a problem and a reason that they need to hold it too close. All right, Dr. Knippel, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you.